Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, the clown show is at it again! Oh boy, what could they possibly be doing this time, am I right? Because there's always something going on every single day with these people. So, they have decided to create a petition to ban the Phantom Menace. Now, for those of you who may not know who the Phantom Menace are, they are a community of YouTubers and of people following the YouTubers that are out to try to make entertainment great again. Which, I agree with the Phantom Menace, and I stand with them, because the industry of entertainment in Western culture, it has not been as good. I mean, if you go back to the years of the 90s and even before then, entertainment was actually really fun and great. But over time, within more recent years, the brilliance and wonderful entertainment that we've known within the Western culture has started to dwindle because big industries like Disney and Warner Media and many more that I could mention have been throwing in politics and really dismantling what is known as entertainment. And, you know, it's really tarnished what entertainment has been. I mean, of course, you get gems here and there that are still good, but a lot of it nowadays is what politics can they throw into entertainment and just destroy it. So let's get into this petition here and look over the craziness of what all the clowns have tried to come up with this time. So let's start with it. Hello, we are positive, kind, loving people out to spread all sorts of positivity to the world. And one of the biggest things we love is movies. Always loving to share our opinions and spread the joy and love movies have given us. And recently, we now wish to defend the films we love by any means necessary. Especially from a group of social media YouTubers and users that call themselves the Fandom Menace. Oh, well, looks like they're already just spreading the love and joy, am I right? Because... Oh boy, they just love to try to attack YouTubers, and they love to try to attack the Phantom Menace as much as they possibly can, because they can't stand any form of criticism, because they're too thin-skinned. Not only that, but they try to force-feed everybody politics and entertainment, which nobody wants. Everybody wants entertainment for fun. That's the point of entertainment, is escapism. The Phantom Menace understands that. They understand what entertainment is. They understand what fun entertainment has brought to the world and what joy and creativity but these clowns don't understand that and they want to get rid of the fandom menace because of it we want to remove the fandom menace off youtube and other social media sites because they bully and harass fans cast and crew members of several critically acclaimed box office hit films like Disney Star Wars, Marvel's Captain Marvel, and several other Disney or non-Disney related projects. The Phantom Menace posts videos on YouTube reviewing films, when in actuality, they are just belittling, mocking, harassing, and bullying the cast and crew members, accusing them of ruining the films and for containing political themes and calling fans of the films SJWs and shills while hypocritically stating that they love the franchises and respect fans' opinions and criticism. They also prove to be very manipulative, always trying to twist things to make them the victims and the fans and film crew the harassing look bad. So they want to say that the fandom menace bullies people, belittles and mocks and harasses people. That's what they want to say, right? Okay, okay, you want to say that. When... In actuality, these people, the SJWs, they're the ones who do it. They're the ones who belittle, mock, harass, and bully people. Not only do they go on to say that the Phantom Menace does these things, but they also try to twist things like they always do, because this is a big thing they do, trying to sit over here and say they twist things to make them the victims, and the fans and film crew, their harassing look bad. Actually, how many times have we seen Ryan Johnson go onto social media and say things all the time trying to harass the Phantom Menace? You ever seen all the times that a lot of people have gone after Ethan Van Skyver, Geeks and Gamers, and many others? Because these SJWs that say that they love these films, they're the ones who have done all the things that is literally stated within this paragraph. They're the ones who have belittled, mocked, harassed, and bullied people. Okay? They're the ones that have done it. And the politics that keep getting thrown in there, because there have been tons of politics thrown into entertainment today, they keep ruining things. So before they go on and say that the Phantom Menace is the problem, they are very incorrect, because the Phantom Menace is trying to save entertainment. That's the entire point of what they're trying to do. They're trying to save entertainment and make the world of entertainment great again. And that's what I want to see as well, and I support and agree with the Phantom Menace. But SJWs, 
This is all they do. They try to twist, manipulate, and the industries always pander to them, of course. Which then makes the entertainment worse, because then politics is thrown in there, and nobody wants that in their entertainment. Everybody goes to see movies and watch shows for escapism, for fun. But these SJWs, they don't get it. And they never have. I mean, go figure. They're also prone to being slightly racist and sexist, as they denounce everything about diversity and empowerment, claiming it's SJW pandering and showing strong hatred to many female leads in films. They just simply fail to understand that diversity is a wonderful thing in the world, especially in filmmaking, and it can lead to more magnificent opportunities and changes everywhere. A lot of great films are proving diversity is wonderful, especially the Disney movie Zootopia. That movie was the best. Okay, there has not been one single time that I've seen the Phantom Menace at all be any of these things they claimed. I've never seen them say anything about not liking diversity. There is nothing wrong with diversity. As long as it is handled properly, then there's not an issue. But the way that you see the big shill media working nowadays, what do you hear from them? You hear a bunch of SJWs and you hear a bunch of other people saying that they don't want white males in their entertainment or they're trying to replace them with POCs, you know, people of color. How is that diverse? If you're still targeting a specific race of people and you're saying, I don't want them in this, it doesn't matter if they're white or not. That is not being diverse because being diverse would include everyone, not every race, but one everyone and to also say which this would be sexist to also say that oh look we don't want males here either because you know they use white males right then that's not being diverse either that is going against being diverse and there is no reason to sit over here and say these terrible things but leave it to sjw's to not understand anything and to contradict themselves because that's the typical sjw mentality so let's move forward for two years, ever since Star Wars The Last Jedi was released to critical acclaim and box office success, the fandom menace has harassed fans and the filmmakers constantly on YouTube. While those magnificent films remain unaffected by those hateful words, as those films are beloved by many fans, praised by critics, won and got nominated for tons of big awards and no Razzie awards, and were huge box office hits worldwide. The Phantom Menace still could not accept those facts and continued with their actions. Their HATEFUL actions had led to several incidents like American actress Kelly Marie Tran- Oh god, here we go with this again. Getting harassed constantly that she left social media altogether and a social worker for a Star Wars related charity getting sent to the hospital for heart problems after she was harassed by several Phantom Menace users. Oh, and of course, throw shade at the Phantom Menace for Kelly Marie Tran leaving social media. You know, you ever heard of whenever people have to go onto movies that they have to leave social media? I mean, I think everybody heard about that case. Oh, God. And of course, they're going to try to use that as an argument, which we all know that's not the case here. But good one. Good try. Good effort. Oh, my Lord. These SJWs just, oh, they give me so many headaches. Uh, but, of course, they throw the blame at the Phantom Menace for her leaving social media when that was never the case at all. All right, sure. Why not? Why not? After she gently complained that they stole her charity's logo and used it for their own means. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Those poor girls. But at least for Tran, it was a good move for her to leave social media because she is focusing on the positive comments many fans are giving her. We're doing the same, as she gave a memorable supporting role in The Last Jedi. We hope her career remains bright. I mean, listen, it's not her fault of the way her character is written. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows it's to blame on the writers for how her character was written. She was just the actress chosen for the role, okay? It's not Kelly Marie Tran's fault, and even the Phantom Menace has stated that Rose Tico's character, despite being a terribly written character, is not her fault it's not kelly marie trans fault and they know it ethan van skyver i mean if you ever seen some of the things that he does ethan has made her character a meme he has worked on trying to make her character a meme which has been absolutely hysterical but don't worry they bring up ethan let's get to all the youtubers they bring up in just a second here 
Now, this paragraph may be a bit dark, and we're sorry if it may be, but we just feel it's important to say it to get the details across. I bet you're not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. That's that's what it is. Here it is. There's a bunch of fandom menace people around YouTube and social media, but five of the biggest offenders are geeks and gamers, comic artists pro secrets, that Star Wars girl, mindless entertainment, and the amazing Lucas. I find it to be funny that Overlord DVD, Nerd Erotic, and World Class aren't in here. That's kind of humorous to me that they get away with it, but the others are singled out here. That's kind of funny. All right, moving forward. Geeks and Gamers does all these things the Phantom Menace does while constantly showing his hypocrisy. First stating he likes something, like Last Jedi and Force Awakens. Okay, let me defend Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers for a bit. He said that he originally liked The Force Awakens. He did, after he saw it. And he said he tried to like The Last Jedi, and then realized it was a terrible movie. And then after he came to that realization, he realized how much it made The Force Awakens worse as a movie. So, that's how he put it. He doesn't like The Last Jedi, and because of it, it affected his point of view of The Force Awakens. There you go. Just saying. Or is excited for something like The Mandalorian, because he's a Star Wars fan. And The Mandalorian, if you look at the trailer, it looks like Star Wars. Even I can say that. But then later, recants his former statements and said he isn't, even at one point, destroying a Blu-ray DVD of The Force Awakens. Now that was kind of funny to me, actually. Which he claimed to like. Okay, now this is actually funny what comes up right here. I, I was dying over this. Copper Artist Pro Secrets makes videos of him stroking a Star Wars figure in an unusual manner. <laughs> uh, and constantly hates on all films that have female leads in them, including the upcoming Charlie's Angels reboot. No, he doesn't hate female leads in movies. In fact, he brought up things about Brie Larson because Brie Larson stated things about how she didn't want overweight 40-year-old white males reviewing her film and that it wasn't a film made for them. Okay. She spewed her politics and went on like a crazy person, because she is, and Ethan talked about it. He doesn't have an issue with female leads, and he's never stated that I don't like female lead characters. He's never said that. He doesn't have a problem with female leads, okay? And yes, stroking the Star Wars characters, he does it to basically all of his Star Wars figures, which is uh, pretty hilarious, mind you. He's, he's pretty funny like that. That Star Wars girl states she doesn't condone bullying, especially to kids, but ended up bullying a 14-year-old kid anyway because he disagreed about her opinions, and she and other fans of Menace people even used the recent passing of her sister as an excuse to insult the fans even more. No. Okay. Alright. No. Her sister did pass away, but that was never an excuse for anything. It's a tragedy. That her sister did pass away, but it was never used to attack or insult a single person. This is disgusting. This is a vile and low statement, and it is a lie. A terrible, disgusting lie. And that Star Wars girl does not condone bullying at all. She does give her opinions and rants about things, but they're logical, and they make sense. Mindless Entertainment yells and screams a lot in her videos, always insulting and degrading the film she hates. No, she gives an opinion on the films, and she does give criticism, by the way. And has anybody ever heard of entertainment? You know, she throws jokes in there, too. That's the point. And the Amazing Lucas does the same, too. Even saying that people who love The Last Jedi or recommends it to people are on the path to darkness. <laughs> and wishing that everyone who worked on The Last Jedi gets cancer. Do those sound like legitimate opinions and constructive criticism from those people? You know... Here's the thing. There's something called opinions, right? People have those. And people's opinions differ, of course. Which, you know, some people will agree and disagree with other opinions. It's normal. Just how it all works, right? And hey, you know, there are going to be people that are going to agree and disagree with other people's opinions. It's just how it works. There are people that agree with me, people that disagree with me. There are people I agree with and people I disagree with. That's normal. That's called life. People are allowed to have their own opinions, you know? And if they don't like The Last Jedi then they don't like The Last Jedi. I mean, I don't like The Last Jedi, but that's an opinion. I could go into multiple reasons why I hate that movie. I mean, I hate The Force Awakens. I could go into reasons why I hate that movie too. But that's an opinion. The Phantom Menace has their own opinions, and they have the right to say what they want as well. They have the right to give their opinions. But 
when it comes to the SJWs, they can't stand a differing opinion from their own. You know, they all have to work as a collective, as like a hive mind, and they all have to agree with one another. And if one person gets out of line, they just are like, oh, no, 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 go after that person. You know, and that's the thing. Fandom Menace has differing opinions for them, so what are they doing? They're making a petition to try to ban them. I mean, people are allowed to have different opinions, but they just act like, no, 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 it's our opinion or none at all. Get them out of here, you know, take them off social media. That's their mentality about the whole thing when it comes to a differing opinion. And then, of course, they contradict themselves with things that they say. They try to twist it to where they're the victims, of course. Which you obviously see within this petition. I mean, of course, we're going to look at the whole petition. You know, we're going to go over the rest of it as well. But just with what you've seen so far, you can definitely tell they're trying to twist things to make it seem like they are the victims. And that they should shut down an opinion because they don't like it. You know, because of cancel culture, right? This petition is also created for another big reason. To encourage many fans to unleash their prices for all the projects that are bashed heavily by the fandom menace. Here's our positive prices, for example. Disney Star Wars films, especially The Last Jedi, are brilliant masterpieces that do justice to George Lucas' franchise in a very fresh way. And we send our congratulations to directors Jar Jar Abrams and Ryan Johnson for the marvelous visions. Marvelous visions. <laughs> the Last Jedi. <laughs> they were actually serious. <laughs> Oh, uh, so they do just just like this is rich. Okay, <laughs> okay. Sorry, can't compose myself on that. Captain Marvel is a great Marvel blockbuster. Oh, on Brie Larson to make a great mark in the MCU, and we're looking forward to the next MCU projects that bring out a more diverse group of actors and filmmakers. Stan Lee would be proud. And as long as Disney and Lucasville President Kathleen Kennedy is in charge, the Force will still be with Star Wars. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. With Kathleen Kennedy in charge after seeing what's been going on, after Disney acquired Star Wars, it has plummeted. It was one of the most expensive franchises in the world, and it has plummeted ever since Disney acquired Star Wars. And Kathleen Kennedy certainly is not the person with the vision for Star Wars. That is a fact. Seeing how everything has gone on with The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and then, of course, you also have Soy Low, a Soy War story. No, thank you. Sorry, but uh, the vision hasn't been good for Star Wars. Not at all. So, go ahead, unleash your praises for those amazing films. Because when you sign this petition, you will never again be ashamed of liking those films the fandom menace are trying to get you to hate. We also created this petition not only to bring a little positivity back to the world of film fandoms, but also to show that despite what they may think, the fandom menace are just a vocal minority of people whose words will not be listened to. We believe the world needs less negativity, and so, with your help from friends, family, and many fans of all those projects, we can make this petition to ban the fandom menace from social media and make the world a little brighter. Okay, yeah, because, of course, SJWs just can't stand it that somebody has a different opinion to them. Of course. And, you know, they bring up Star Wars, they bring up Captain Marvel. See, here's the thing. You know, people wouldn't have an issue with Star Wars or Captain Marvel if, oh, I don't know, maybe it was written well, you know, and made sense. I mean, because, you know, you look at Star Wars, you know, they tried to say here that Star Wars, under Disney's control now, has brought justice to George Lucas's films. No, they haven't. Not at all. Not one bit. Not only that, but, you know, they try to sit over here and say people have an issue with Captain Marvel. Well, of course they do. The reason... Captain Marvel is such a problem is the fact that the writing is terrible and they picked an actress who just acts like a plank of wood. Seriously. Brie Larson's face only knows one expression and that's bland and boring. I mean, that's what it is. You know. And they sit over here and they have these problems. They have these complaints. And, you know, here's the thing. These movies are just bad. Okay. They're just terrible movies. If they actually had creativity, if they had good writing, if they had likable characters, then the movies would have been good, and guess what? 
wouldn't have been so much of a problem if the righty had actually been good. But that's not the case here. Not only that, but you saw people from Lucasfilm attack the fandom. Ryan Johnson, you know, they let him go on Twitter and attack the fandom. Didn't care about it. We have the show media who comes out defending these films and then also attacks the fandom again. You know, there's also that. And SJWs go after them. They attack the fandom as well. You know, they don't make it any better. And they come up with any names they can think of, you know, any istrophobes, you know, any of that stuff to throw at the fandom menace. And they themselves just completely twist everything to make themselves look like the victims, when in reality, they're the ones who throw the negativity. They're the ones who cause all the problems. But yeah, they try to shift blame to the fandom menace because they try to throw a criticism and try to say, hey, this is how you can make it better. You know, that's the thing. Whenever you have all these people attacking the fandom menace and attacking the fandoms of anything in general, yeah, you're going to upset the fans because you want the fans to come back, right? Don't attack them. Don't put them down. And don't put the blame on them. Don't shift blame to them. And this is exactly what this petition is. SJWs are blaming the fandom menace. That's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to blame the fandom menace, and then they're trying to completely just cancel them outright. They're trying to completely just throw them under the bus and say, hey, let's get them out of here because they have a different opinion than us. And that's how these people work. And this petition is dumb. This petition to take down the fandom menace is just so stupid. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below, and share the video. Let's try to spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated, and it helps out the channel. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, hit the video with a like, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today, and remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you, and have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.